The Nguyen dynasty or House of Nguyen, Vietnamese, Nan Nguyen, Han Nam, Ruan Chao Nguyen Tru, was the last ruling family of Vietnam. Their rule lasted for 143 years. The dynasty began in 1802, when Emperor Za Long ascended the throne after defeating the Tay Son dynasty. It ended in 1945, when Emperor Bao Dai abdicated the throne and transferred power to the Democratic Republic of Vietnam. Although the nation was given the name Vietnam Yunnan by the Qing dynasty during Gia Long's reign, it was known as Dai Vietnam da Yunnan by nations other than the Qing dynasty. From the 19th year of Emperor Minh Mang's reign, Dai Vietnam was shortened to Dai Nam, Da Nan which means, Great South. The abbreviation Dai Viet, Da Yu which means, Great Viet, was forbidden, since it was the name of several previous dynasties. The end of the dynasty was marked by the increasing influence of French colonialism, and the nation was divided into three parts, Cochinchina became a French colony, and Annam and Tonkin became nominally independent protectorates. Origins The Nguyen clan was a major family in Vietnamese history, dating back to the first Grand Chancellor of the Dinh dynasty Nguyen Bac and the La dynasty under Emperor Le Loi. After the prosperous later La dynasty, Mac Dang Dung of the Mac clan took the throne from Emperor Le Cung Hoang and the La dynasty went into eclipse. Nguyen Kim, who a loyal subject of the La, tried to restore power to the dynasty, this was followed by a civil war between the La and the Mac. Due to the war and the weakness of the later La, the Nguyen and Trinh clans united in opposition to the Mac. Nguyen Kim, leader of the alliance, was assassinated in 1545 by a captured Mac general, Kim's son-in-law, Trinh Kiem, who killed the eldest son of Nguyen Kim, took over the alliance. In 1558, Nguyen Hoang son was given lordship of the newly conquered territory of mid and southern Vietnam by Champa. He ruled from the city of Hue for the rest of his life, establishing the dominion of the Nguyen lords in the southern part of the country. Although the Nguyen and Trin lords paid tribute to the Le emperors, the emperors were figurehead governors. Nguyen Hoang and his successors continued to fight the Trinh lords, expanding their territory by making Kampuchea a protectorate and invading Laos, Champa and smaller countries in the region. The Nguyen lords called themselves, Lord, Chua in Vietnamese. <laughs> Political history <laughs> First Tay Son Nguyen Civil War 1771 Topic. Collapse of the clan The Tay Son dynasty and the Trin lords united to destroy the Nguyen capital, Phu in 1775. Nguyen leader Nguyen Phuc Thuan failed to oppose the alliance forces before fleeing Quang Nam province. Nguyen Nok took the opportunity to pursue water and land routes. The Tay Son force defeated the Nguyen army and seized Quang Nam. Nguyen Phuc Thuan escaped to Gia Dinh by sea, leaving co ruler Nguyen Phuc Duong to defend Quang Nam. In early 1777, the Tay Son army was led by Nguyen Hu in an ambush of Gia Dinh. The battle lasted for six months, and Nguyen Phuc Thuan, Nguyen Phuc Duong, several siblings of Nguyen An, and many Nguyen family members were captured and executed. The 13 year old Nguyen An escaped and hid. An later declared himself the next leader of the Nguyen clan. He was protected by the Vietnamese Catholic priest Paul Ho Van Ghi and his teacher, Rach Gia. They helped An flee to Ha Tien, where he stayed at the mansion of Paris Foreign Mission Society missionary Pigno de Bahen. He then fled into the jungle to avoid pursuit by the Tay Son army. De Bahen returned from Cambodia to avoid pursuit by the anti-Catholic Tay Son force. With him was a Frenchman named Jean, who came to meet and support An. After hiding for a month, Nguyen Hu returned to Kai Non, and returned to Long Suyen, formed an army to fight the Tay Son, and raided the palace of Long Ho in Gia Dinh in December 1777. The Tay Son returned to Gia Dinh in February 1778, and quickly captured the province. An assisted by Pigno de Bahen led an army against the Tay Son, who retreated. By the summer of 1781, An's forces had grown to 30,000 soldiers, 80 battleships, three large ships, and two Portuguese mercenary battleships recruited by de Bahen. He organized an unsuccessful ambush of Tay Son base camps in the Fu Yen province. Nguyen Hu and his older brother, Emperor of Tay Son Emperor Tai Duc, sent a naval force to attack An in March 1782. 
An's army was defeated and fled, first to Ba Giang, and then to the Ramdul district in Cambodia's Sve Rieng province. <laughs> Nguyen Cambodia alliance against the Tay Son An escaped to Cambodia and met with King Ang Eng, who allowed him to live in exile and allied with him against the Tay Sun. The Tay Sun army pursued An, who failed to oppose and fled, in April 1782. The Tay Sun captured Ang Eng, forced the king to pay tribute, and forced the Vietnamese living in Cambodia to return to Vietnam. Topic. Chinese Vietnamese support for Nguyen An Support by the Chinese Vietnamese began when the Qing dynasty overthrew the Ming dynasty. The Han Chinese refused to live under the Manchu Qing, and fled to Southeast Asia including Vietnam. Most were welcomed by the Nguyen lords to resettle in southern Vietnam for business and trade. In 1782, Nguyen An escaped to Cambodia and the Tay Son seized southern Vietnam now Cochinchina. They discriminated against the ethnic Chinese, displeasing the Chinese Vietnamese. That April, Nguyen loyalists Tun That Du, Tran Zon Trac, Tran Van Tu and Tran Cong Chuang sent military support to An. The Nguyen army killed Grand Admiral Pham Nan, who had a close relationship with the Emperor Tai Duc, at Tham Luang Bridge. Tai Duc, angry, thought that the ethnic Chinese had collaborated in the killing. He sacked the town of Ku Lao, present-day Bien Hoa, which had a large Chinese population, and ordered the oppression of the Chinese community to avenge their assistance to An. Ethnic cleansing had previously occurred in Hoi An, leading to support by wealthy Chinese for An. He returned to Jiang Lu, defeated Admiral Nguyen Hoc of the Tay Sun and captured 80 battleships. An then began a campaign to reclaim southern Vietnam, but Nguyen Hu deployed a naval force to the river and destroyed his navy. An again escaped with his followers to Hao Jiang. Cambodia later cooperated with the Tay Sun to destroy An's force and made him retreat to Rach Gia, then to Ha Tien and Phu Quoc. Topic. Nguyen Thai Alliance Following consecutive losses to the Tay Sun, An sent his general Chao Van Thiep to Siam to request military assistance. Siam, under Chakri rule, wanted to conquer Cambodia and southern Vietnam. King Rama I agreed to ally with the Nguyen clan and intervene militarily in Vietnam. Chao Van Thiep sent a secret letter to An about the alliance. After meeting with Siamese generals at Ka Mau, An, 30 officials and some troops visited Bangkok to meet Rama I in May 1784. The governor of Gia Din province, Nguyen Van Thanh, advised An against foreign assistance. Rama I, fearing the growing influence of the Tay Son dynasty in Cambodia and Laos, decided to dispatch his army against it. In Bangkok, An began to recruit Vietnamese refugees in Siam to join his army, which totaled over 9,000. He returned to Vietnam and prepared his forces for the Tay Son campaign in June 1784, after which he captured Gia Din. Rama I nominated his nephew, Chu Tang, as admiral the following month. The admiral led Siamese forces including 20,000 marine troops and 300 warships from the Gulf of Siam to Kien Giang province. In addition, more than 30,000 Siamese infantry troops crossed the Cambodian border to Nguyen Giang province. On 25 November 1784, Admiral Chao Van Thiep died in battle against the Tay Son in Mang Thiet district, Vinh Long province. The alliance was largely victorious from July through November, and the Tay Son army retreated north. However, Emperor Nguyen Hu halted the retreat and counter-attacked the Siamese forces in December. In the decisive Battle of Rach Gam Zoai Mut, more than 20,000 Siamese soldiers died and the remainder retreated to Siam. An, disillusioned with Siam, escaped to Tho Chu Island in April 1785 and then to Ko Kut Island in Thailand. The Siamese army escorted him back to Bangkok, and he was briefly exiled in Thailand. 1787 French alliance The war between the Nguyen clan and the Tay Son dynasty forced An to find more allies. His relationship with de Bahen improved, and support for an alliance with France increased. Before the request for Siamese military assistance, de Bahen was in Chanthaburi and An asked him to come to Phu Quoc Island, An asked him to contact King Louis XVI of France for assistance, de Bahen agreed to coordinate an alliance between France and Vietnam, and An gave him a letter to present at the French court. 
An's oldest son, Nguyen Phuc Gun, was chosen to accompany De Bahen. Due to inclement weather, the voyage was postponed until December 1784. The group departed from Phu Quoc Island for Malacca and thence to Pondicherry, and An moved his family to Bangkok. The group arrived in Lorient in February 1787, and Louis XVI agreed to meet them in May. Topic. Treaty of Versailles 1787. On 28 November 1787, de Bahen signed the Treaty of Versailles with French Minister of Foreign Affairs Armand Marc at the Palace of Versailles on behalf of Nguyen An. The treaty stipulated that France provide four frigates, 1,200 infantry troops, 200 artillery, 250 coffres African soldiers, and other equipment. Nguyen An ceded the Da Nang estuary and Khan Sun Island to France. The French were allowed to trade freely and control foreign trade in Vietnam. Vietnam had to build one ship per year which was similar to the French ship which brought aid, and give it to France. Vietnam was obligated to supply food and other aid to France when the French were at war with other East Asian nations. Topic. French Revolution on 27 December 1787, Pignot de Bahen and Nguyen Phuc Gun left France for Pondicherry to wait for the military support promised by the treaty. However, due to the French Revolution and the abolition of the French monarchy, the treaty was never executed. Thomas Conway, who was responsible for French assistance, refused to provide it. Although the treaty was not implemented, de Bahen recruited French businessmen who intended to trade in Vietnam and raised funds to assist Nguyen An. He spent 15,000 francs of his own money to purchase guns and warships. Gun and de Bahen returned to Gia Dinh in 1788 after Nguyen An had recaptured it, followed by a ship with the war materiel. Frenchmen who were recruited included Jean-Baptiste Cheno, Philippe Vanier, Olivier de Puimanel, and Jean-Marie Dayot. A total of 20 people joined An's army. The French purchased and supplied equipment and weaponry, reinforcing the defense of Gia Din, Vinh Long, Chao Doc, Ha Tien, Bien Hoa, Ba Ria and training An's artillery and infantry according to the European model. Topic. Second Civil War 1787 Topic. Weakening of the Taesun dynasty In 1786, Nguyen Hu led the army against the Trinh lords, Trinh Khai escaped to the north and committed suicide. After the Taesun army returned to Khai Nôn, subjects of the Trinh clan restored Trinh Bong son of Trinh Giang as the next clan leader. Le Chu Thong, emperor of the Le dynasty, wanted to regain power from the Trinh. He summoned Nguyen Hu Chin, governor of Nguyen, to attack the Trinh clan at the imperial citadel of Thang Long. Trinh Bong surrendered to the Le and became a monk. Nguyen Hu Chin wanted to unify the country under Le Rule, and began to prepare the army to march south and attack the Tay Sun. Hu led the army, killed Nguyen Hu Chin, and captured the later Le capital. The Le royal family were exiled to China, and the later Le dynasty collapsed. At that time, Nguyen Hu's influence became stronger in northern Vietnam, this made Emperor Nguyen Ngoc of the Tay Sun dynasty suspect Hu's loyalty. The relationship between the brothers became tense, eventually leading to battle. Hugh had his army surround Nock's capital, at Kainon Citadel, in 1787. Nock begged Hugh not to kill him, and they reconciled. In 1788, Le Emperor Le Chu Thong fled to China and asked for military assistance. Qing Emperor Qianlong ordered Sun Shi to lead the military campaign into Vietnam. The campaign failed, diplomatic relations with Vietnam were normalized, and the Tay Son dynasty began to weaken. Topic. An's counterattack An began to reorganize a strong armed force in Siam. He left Siam after thanking King Rama I, and returned to Vietnam. During the 1787 war between Nguyen Hu and Nguyen Ngoc in northern Vietnam, An recaptured the southern Vietnamese capital of Gia Dinh. Southern Vietnam had been ruled by the Nguyens and they remained popular, especially with the ethnic Chinese. Nguyen Lu, the youngest brother of Tay Son who ruled southern Vietnam, could not defend the citadel and retreated to Khai Nôn. The citadel of Gia Dinh was seized by the Nguyen lords. 
In 1788 de Bahen and An son, Prince Gunn, arrived in Jia Din with modern war equipment and more than 20 Frenchmen who wanted to join the army. The force was trained and strengthened with French assistance. Topic. Defeat of the Tay Sun After the fall of the citadel at Jia Din, Nguyen Hu prepared an expedition to reclaim it before his death on 16 September 1792. His young son, Nguyen Quang Tone, succeeded him as emperor of the Tay Sun and was a poor leader. In 1793, Nguyen An began a campaign against Quang Tone. Due to conflict between officials of the Tay Sun court, Quang Tone lost battle after battle. In 1797, An and Nguyen Phuc Gun attacked Ki Nôn then in Phu Yen province in the Battle of Ti Nai. They were victorious, capturing a large amount of Tay Sun equipment. Quang Tone became unpopular due to his murders of generals and officials, leading to a decline in the army. In 1799, An captured the citadel of Kai Nôn. He seized the capital Fuzan on 3 May 1802, and Quang Tone retreated north. And then executed all the members of the Tay Sun dynasty that year. Topic: <inaudible> Origin of the dynasty. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Unification of Vietnam. Nguyen Phuc An united Vietnam after a 300-year division of the country. He celebrated his coronation at Hue on 1 June 1802 and proclaimed himself Emperor Vietnamese, Hoang with the era name Zha Long, Zha Long and the the temple name Nguyen the Tu. Ruan Shi. Zha Long prioritized the nation's defense, and feared that it could again be divided by civil war. He replaced the feudal system with a reformist doctrine of the mean, based on Confucianism. <laughs> Government Topic. Emperor The Nguyen dynasty maintained the bureaucracy and hierarchic system of former dynasties. The head of state was the emperor, who wielded absolute authority. Under the emperor was the Ministry of Interior which worked on papers, royal messages and recording and four grand secretariats Vietnamese, two true Dai Thien, later renamed the Ministry of Secret Council. East Asia's monarchic system consisted of nobles and mandarins. Mandarins were civil or military. Topic. Civil service and bureaucracy Topic. Taxes Vietnam's monetary subunit was the quan. One quan equaled 10 coins, equivalent to 600 dongs. Officials received the following taxes Vietnamese, Thu Do Noi, First senior rank Chan Nhat Pham, 400 quan, rice, 300 kg, per capita tax, 70 quan First junior rank Tong Nhat Pham, 300 quan, rice, 250 kg, tax, 60 quan Second senior rank Chan Ni Pham, 250 quan, rice, 200 kg, tax, 50 quan Second junior rank Tong Ni Pham, 180 quan, rice, 150 kg, tax, 30 quan Third senior rank Chan Tam Pham, 150 quan, rice, 120 kg, tax, 20 quan Third junior rank Tong Tam Pham, 120 quan, rice, 90 kg, tax, 16 quan Fourth senior rank Chan Tu Pham, 80 quan, rice, 60 kg, tax, 14 quan Fourth junior rank Tong Tu Pham, 60 quan, rice, 50 kg, tax, 10 quan 5th senior rank Chan Nu Pham, 40 quan, rice, 43 kg, tax, 9 quan 5th junior rank Tong Nu Pham, 35 quan, rice, 30 kg, tax, 8 quan 6th senior rank Chan Luc Pham, 30 quan, rice, 25 kg, tax, 7 quan 6th junior rank Tong Luc Pham, 30 quan, rice, 22 kg, tax, 6 quan 7th senior rank Chan that fam 25 quan rice 20 kg tax 5 quan 7th junior rank Tong that fam 22 quan rice 20 kg tax 5 quan 8th senior rank Chan bat fam 20 quan rice 18 kg tax 5 quan 8th junior rank Tong bat fam 20 quan rice 18 kg tax 4 quan 
9th senior rank Chan Ku Pham, 18 Quan, Rice, 16 kg, Tax, 4 Quan 9th junior rank Tong Ku Pham, 18 Quan, Rice, 16 kg, Tax, 4 Quan Topic. Pension When mandarins retired, they could receive 100 to 400 kwan from the emperor. When they died, the royal court provided 20 to 200 kwan for a funeral. Topic. Culture After Zha Long, other dynastic rulers encountered problems with Catholic missionaries and other Europeans in Indochina. China's Qing Jiaqing Emperor refused Jia Long's request to change his country's name to Nam Viet, changing its name to Vietnam. Jia Long's son, Min Mang, was then faced with the Le Van Khoi Revolt in which native Christians and their European clergy tried to replace him and install a grandson of Zha Long who had converted to Roman Catholicism. The missionaries then incited frequent revolts in an attempt to Catholicize the throne and the country. Although Min Mang set aside public lands as part of his reforms, Min Mang engineered the final conquest of the Champa Kingdom after the centuries long Cham Vietnamese Wars. Cham Muslim leader Khatib Suma was educated in Kelantan, returning to Champa to declare a jihad against the Vietnamese after Min Mang's annexation of the region. The Vietnamese forced Champa's Muslims to eat lizard and pig meat and its Hindus to eat beef to assimilate them into Vietnamese culture. Minh Mang sinicized ethnic minorities such as Cambodians, claimed the legacy of Confucianism and China's Han dynasty for Vietnam, and used the term Han people Han Ren Han Nan to refer to the Vietnamese. According to the emperor, we must hope that their barbarian habits will be subconsciously dissipated, and that they will daily become more infected by Han Sino -Vietnamese customs. These policies were directed at the Khmer and Hill tribes. Nguyen Phuc Chu had referred to the Vietnamese as Han people in 1712, distinguishing them from the Chams. The Nguyen lords established colonies after 1790. Zha Long said, Han Di Hu Han, Han Yi Yu Xian. The Vietnamese and the barbarians must have clear borders, distinguishing the Khmer from the Vietnamese. Minh Mang implemented an acculturation policy for minority non Vietnamese peoples. Tan Nan, Ching Ren, or Duong Nan, Tang Ren were used to refer to ethnic Chinese by the Vietnamese, who called themselves Han Dan, Han Minh, and Han Nan, Han Ren during 19th century Nguyen rule. Trung Quoc. Zhang Guo was used as a name for Vietnam by Zha Long in 1805. Due to its dominance during the 19th century, Vietnam regards Cambodia and Laos as tributary states. The Nguyen dynasty popularized Chinese clothing. Trousers were adopted by female white Hmong speakers, replacing their traditional skirts. The traditional Han Chinese Ming tunics and trousers were worn by the Vietnamese. The Ao Dai was developed in the 1920s, when compact, close-fitting tucks were added to Chinese-style clothing. Chinese trousers and tunics were ordered by Nguyen Phuc Coat during the 18th century, replacing Vietnamese sarongs. Although the Chinese trousers and tunic were mandated by the Nguyen government, skirts were worn in isolated North Vietnamese hamlets until the 1920s. Chinese Ming, Tang, and Han dynasty clothing was ordered for the Vietnamese military and bureaucrats by Nguyen Phuc Coat. An 1841 polemic, on distinguishing barbarians, was based on the Qing sign, Vietnamese barbarians hostile, Yu Yi Wei Guan on the Fujian residence of Nguyen diplomat and Hua Chinese Li Van Phuc Li Wen Phu. It argued that the Qing did not subscribe to the Neo-Confucianist texts from the Song and Ming dynasties which were learned by the Vietnamese, who saw themselves as sharing a civilization with the Qing. Non-Chinese highland tribes and other non-Vietnamese peoples living near or in Vietnam were called barbarian by the Vietnamese imperial court. The essay distinguishes the Yi and Hua, and mentions Zhao Tuo, Wen, Shun and Taibo. Kelly and Woodside described Vietnam's Confucianism, emperors Minh Mang, Thu Tri and Tu Duc, were opposed to French involvement in Vietnam, and tried to reduce the country's growing Catholic community. The imprisonment of missionaries who had illegally entered the country was the primary pretext for the French to invade and occupy Indochina. Like Qing China, a number of incidents involved other European nations during the 19th century. The last independent Nguyen emperor was Tu Duc. 
A succession crisis followed his death, as the regent Tun that Thoyot orchestrated the murders of three emperors in a year. This allowed the French to take control of the country and its monarchy. All emperors since Dong Khan were chosen by the French, and only ruled symbolically. <inaudible> French protectorate Napoleon III took the first steps to establish a French colonial influence in Indochina. He approved the launching of a naval expedition in 1858 to punish the Vietnamese for their mistreatment of European Catholic missionaries and force the court to accept a French presence in the country. Factors in his decision were the belief that France risked becoming a second-rate power by not expanding its influence in East Asia, and the expanding idea that France had a civilizing mission. This led to an invasion in 1861. By 1862, the war was over. Vietnam conceded three provinces in the south French Cochinchina, opened three ports to French trade, allowed free passage of French warships to Campuchia which led to an 1863 French protectorate of Campuchia, allowed freedom for French missionaries, and gave France a large indemnity for the cost of the war. France did not intervene in the Christian-supported Vietnamese rebellion in Bac Bo despite missionary urging or the subsequent slaughter of thousands of Christians after the rebellion, suggesting that persecution of Christians prompted the intervention but military and political reasons drove colonialism in Vietnam. In 1885, France conquered the rest of Vietnam and promoted development of the Mekong Delta by the Vietnamese. The Nguyen dynasty nominally ruled the French protectorates of Annam and Tonkin, which were like Cochinchina territories of French Indochina. France added new ingredients to Vietnam's cultural stew, Catholicism and a Latin-based alphabet. The spelling used in the Vietnamese transliteration was Portuguese, because the French relied on a dictionary compiled earlier by a Portuguese cleric. <laughs> World War I While seeking to maximize the use of Indochina's natural resources and manpower to fight World War I, France cracked down on Vietnam's patriotic mass movements. Indochina mainly Vietnam had to provide France with 70,000 soldiers and 70,000 workers, who were forcibly drafted from villages to serve on the French battlefront. Vietnam also contributed 184 million piastres in loans and 336,000 tons of food. These burdens proved heavy, since agriculture experienced natural disasters from 1914 to 1917. Lacking a unified nationwide organization, the vigorous Vietnamese national movement failed to use the difficulties France had as a result of war to stage significant uprisings. In May 1916, 16-year-old Emperor Duy Tan escaped from his palace in order to participate in an uprising of Vietnamese troops. The French were informed of the plan, and its leaders were arrested and executed. Duy Tan was deposed and exiled to the island of Réunion in the Indian Ocean. <inaudible> <inaudible> World War II Nationalist sentiment intensified in Vietnam especially during and after the First World War, but uprisings and tentative efforts failed to obtain concessions from the French. The Russian Revolution greatly impacted 20th-century Vietnamese history. For Vietnam, the outbreak of World War II on 1 September 1939 was as decisive as the 1858 French seizure of Da Nang. The Axis power of Japan invaded Vietnam on of September 1940, attempting to construct military bases to strike against Allied forces in Southeast Asia. The Viet Minh, a communist resistance movement, developed under Ho Chi Minh from 1941 to 1945. During a 1944–1945 famine in northern Vietnam, over one million people starved to death. In March 1945, realizing that Allied victory was inevitable, the Japanese overthrew the French in Vietnam, imprisoned their civil servants and proclaimed an independent Vietnam under Japanese protection, with Bao Dai its emperor. Topic. Dynastic succession The French persuaded Bao Dai to return as Chief of State of the State of Vietnam set up by France in areas over which it had regained control during a bloody war with the Viet Minh under Ho Chi Minh, in 1948. Bao Dai spent much of his time during the conflict at his luxurious home in Da Lot in the Vietnamese highlands or in Paris. 
This ended with the French defeat at Dien Bien Phu in 1954. The French negotiated with the U.S. to divide Vietnam. It was divided into North Vietnam governed by the Viet Minh and South Vietnam, with a new government. Bao Day's Prime Minister, Go Dinh Diem, defeated him in a 1955 referendum generally regarded as rigged, an improbable 98% of voters supported Diem's proposal for a republic, and the number of votes for the republic far exceeded the number of registered voters. Diem became President of the Republic of Vietnam, Vietnam Cong Hoa, ending Bao Day's involvement in Vietnamese affairs. Bao Dai went into exile in France, where he died in 1997 and was buried in Cimentière de Passy. Crown Prince Bao Long succeeded him as head of the Imperial House of Vietnam on 31 July of that year and was succeeded by his brother, Bao Thang, on 28 July 2007. Bao Thang passed away on 15 March 2017 without an heir leaving the succession to the youngest half-brother brother Bao An. Legacy Art Historical records Emperors The following list is the emperor's era names, which have meaning in Chinese and Vietnamese. For example, the first ruler's era name, Zha Long, is the combination of the old names for Saigon and Hanoi to show the new unity of the country. The fourth, Tu Duc, means, inheritance of virtues. The ninth, Dong Khan, means, collective celebration. After the death of Emperor Tu Duc and according to his will, Duc Duc ascended to the throne on 19 July 1883. He was dethroned and imprisoned three days later, after being accused of deleting a paragraph from Tu Duc's will. With no time to announce his dynastic title, his era name was named for his residential palace. Topic. Lineage Note Years are reigning years. Topic. See also List of monarchs of Vietnam Nguyen Trong to served Emperor Tu Duc Topic. Notes Topic. References Topic. External links The Nguyen Dynasty Homepage of the Nguyen Dynasty